What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Make sure to like and share this video. And let's talk about the Suns and the Pelicans. Last night was very entertaining. Credit to the Pelicans. The Pelicans do not give up. Willie Green has done a fantastic job. This is his first year. I'll repeat, this is his first year. And he has this team believing in, in his philosophy. They play hard for him. You could tell a, a team plays hard for their coach when they look a coach in their eyes. You know that look that says, I'm not going to let you down. Now, even though this is a Pelican versus Suns video, I will say this. It's a damn shame that the Hornets couldn't even play two rookies, JT Thor and Book Knight, especially Book Knight, who was drafted higher than uh, Trey Murphy and Herb Jones of the Pelicans. But that's another video for a different day. But let me digress. The Pelicans showed up to the fight. B.I. had 37 points, 11 rebounds, and 9 assists. So Willie Green wasn't managing no minutes. He wasn't trying to make everybody happy. He played to win the game. He gave Herb Jones 41 minutes, and deservedly so because he's a fantastic defender. Herb Jones with 14 points. Herb Jones fought, shot 5 for 8, 2 for 3 from 3. Very efficient play. C.J. McCollum, 23 points, 9 assists, 8 rebounds. He played with a lot of heart. He was on attack mode every single game. And I got to admit, C.J. McCollum going to the Pelicans really helped this team out in so many ways. Each game, win or loss, they believe they can win. They don't care how tough the team is. They don't care if it's the Suns with Chris Paul and company. Now, Suns, you want to win a championship, right? You got to put teams like this away. You got to play to your talent. There's too much talent and leadership with this team, meaning the Suns, to lose a game like this. I'm sure Chris Paul is going to huddle up the troops and he's going to tell them we can't waste these opportunities. Because the Pelicans, they're believing right now. They believe that they can win the series. So they got to go back to the strong board, meeting the Suns, and regroup and put their best foot forward. The playoffs is what? A man's game. You can't take games off. You can't treat it like regular season. You can't overlook your opponent. When I watched the Miami Heat last night, when they played against the Hawks, they wanted to make a statement. The defense was very physical. Jimmy Butler played like a man possessed. That's what you got to do in the playoffs. The Memphis Grizzlies, when they had that wake-up call in game one, in game two, they decided to wake up for once and throttle the Timberwolves, 124-96. This is what the Suns got to do. They got a great opportunity this year to win it all, but it can never happen. If you do not execute. The reason why the Suns lost. Is lack of. Uh, of energy. And I'm not going to blame Monty Williams. Monty Williams. Has this team at 64 and 18. Monty Williams has done his part. Monty Williams. If you look at the sideline. Uh, what you call. Behind the scenes. He was telling the Suns, his team, what to do to win this game. 
the players for some reason wanted to do their own thing. But Monty Williams is an excellent coach. There are a lot of teams with franchise point guards that can use a Monty Williams. But Suns, you cannot waste these opportunities, man. Because if you don't go to the finals, if you don't win at all, it's going to be one of those years where you look back and say, man, we blew this opportunity. You don't want to be that team. And as for the Pelicans, Willie Green, brother, keep doing your thing. Keep having your team believe it. And uh, you have a great thing going. And, and remember, Zion's not playing this year. Can you imagine if Zion, if healthy, was playing on this team? Oh, boy. It would have been pandemonium. But this is raw truth media giving you the raw content that you deserve what you need. Like this video, share this video, and I'm out. Peace and blessings.